so just try to create an even like outline around his eyes like this and now shift alt and select this edge loop and we're gonna apply another material to the same mesh uh, we're gonna do it by pressing the plus here now select uh, click this two, which is this is display this displays numbers of users of this material so we're gonna make it single user press assign and change the material to dark dark grayish something yeah right press enter to confirm uh, we can change the name of to I outline I and that's all we have so far all right so now we need to add another plane so press first of all you see our, our 3d cursor is on the side and we want to keep it in the center so press shift s cursor to select it because we had our phrase plane selected and now shift s oh actually nothing shift a add mesh plane press s to scale r x 90 enter and we're gonna press shift d to du make a duplicate and put it here on side just keep one spare now we don't always have to go through this process of adding and things so we're gonna be using that this one later this is uh, gonna be kind of background white background for our eyes so just move it behind behind the face Z you see we need to scale it scale scale it down scale Z as Z move it to the right position and we're gonna give it nice white material so add new and make it white as as white as possible enter and we can rename it to white and we will know that later on when we need to use the same material for okay select this one oh, actually shift D along the Z it's gonna be background for our mouth press S to scale scale Z and now because it's duplicated from the this one the background for our eyes is sharing the same material so we're gonna just remove it by clicking this uh, uh, pressing the single user and uh, give it kind of give it kind of purple or whatever color it is more like a brown yeah I'm happy with that one so okay now press shift a at circle change the vertices to 12 and press fill scale R X 90 enter Add modifier, subserve two and three. Press S to scale. G to grab. So you need to be scaled a little bit more. So S to scale. Press tab to go to edit mode. A to deselect. 
maximum drawing. <coughs> if you press the slash, it's gonna show you just uh, just the object you are working on. So alt alt right click select the the whole thing around. No whole thing. The the vertex in the middle is not selected. Press E to extrude, escape, and scale. Z. Now, for this one, we will we'll give it like a black color. Press tab or enter. Uh, rename it to black enter tap to edit mode a to deselect old shift old and press control E control I or I need to go to the face face select mode and select all these faces inside in the internal faces. The outline of this is gonna stay the black, but this one we, we want to change. So press plus to add another material, make it single user, press assign and change the color to kind of brown or whatever color you want your character color of eyes you want your character to have so yeah we'll go for this one I don't want to like spend so much time by doing it here <coughs> slash to grab the position maybe we'll need to move it backward along the y-axis a little bit not too much because it's gonna go behind the background press one and now just duplicate it shift D X and duplicate it around the X axis A to D select select the <coughs> plane shift D to duplicate it Firm. Press Shift S to selection the cursor. Move it down. Press Z to scale. Now we are creating the mustache. So press uh, Tab to go to edit mode. Vertex selection mode. Select these two. Move them down. And S X to scale along the X axis. Somebody is calling me now. This is the wrong time, I'm telling you. But whatever. Z. Uh, bring it forward a little bit. And uh, for material, select the black. Yeah, that's it. One. Uh, okay. A to deselect. Z. Now we're going to be making the eyebrows. So select the plane shift D duplicate it bring it here scale it down by pressing S zoom in Z go to wireframe mode scale a little bit more scale along the X S X move it tap to go to edit mode press control R to add the edge loop one is gonna go here select the vertex start shaping a little bit control R here come on